Welcome back to Short Spots. I'm Jared. Today we're doing something a little different. These are things I've found that I don't have in my Freddy collection that I really looked at. It is Hot Freddy Collectibles. It's about, I think, 15 items that I've really been looking for a long time or just found that I really need to pick up. But for the collectibles, hey, I'm a hardcore collector and there's some stuff that I need. There's stuff, there are things I've been searching for for a very long time. So let's start with Jimmy J and make sure you get your tickets to the at Friday the 13th Minicon. Let's see what he's got to say. Friday the 13th weekend, May 13th and 14th, it is all going down right here on the grounds of the Blair's Town Diner. Laura Marie Taylor, Ron Milky, Ron Sloan, Debbie Voorhees, Tracy Savage. I mean, we have a lineup of guests coming out for the weekend. And not only are we celebrating Friday the 13th, but we are celebrating 13 Fanboy. And with that being said, we have the lead actress, Haley Greenbauer herself, making her way to Blair's Town. This is history in the making, folks. Get your tickets now. F13 Minicon. That eventbrite.com. That is F13 Minicon. That event. Right.com. Jason, Jason's here early. Folks, like I said, it's going to be a killer weekend in Blairstown, going down at the iconic Blairstown Diner. Be a part of the history in the making. We'll see you there. All right, Jimmy J. Also, Brian out there making the the Harakon happen. Um, with corrections, there's a chance we might make it later Sunday. We will see. We're coming back from Honeymoon, and we will be heading to Brighton Asylum. And we're only about an hour away from Brighton Asylum. So, let's get back into it. Again, Hot Friday Collectibles. These are some things that I've seen that I really want. And I know a lot of people collect this stuff, so I figured they'd be interested too. Let's get to it. The first one is Toonie Terrors. Now, this is a, a fairly new toy. It's from NECA. They pretty much cartooned out and made him look like Scooby-Doo. Cool picture. Cool image. I like the glove. I like the shirt. Um, I just haven't found it for the right price. It's a little elevated right now, but I'll be adding it to the... So that one I know I can get a hold of. Moving on. This is the first time I've seen this. I, I The original Freddy is one of my most wanted things is the 18 inch. And I'll get into that story once we get there. But this that looks highly detailed and it looks pretty badass. I don't know where I'm going to put giant toys. Might have to change some shelves around, add some shelves, but whatever. We're doing it. Next on the docket is one I've been hunting for for a while. And it's hard to find in a good shape. So let's get to it. Yes, it's a grainy ass picture, but there's not a lot of high def pictures of this. This is a VHS set. That box looks incredible. And now it can be found, but it's really expensive and it's really hard to track down with that box looking like that. Now, they also have a laser disc, and I need that to finish the media, because you see I have the whole set on Blu-ray right there, and regular DVD right there. So I need that to add to the media aspect of it. Moving on, what else I need for the media aspect, and this is really hard to find, Freddy's Greatest Hits, the Elm Street Group. This was an album released probably right around three or four. And I haven't found anyone that I can really afford yet. So I'm not as big on that as I am the VHS set. So also another one that's kind of new, but I just haven't scooped up yet, is the NES version from NECA. It'll fit right up there. So I'll eventually pick that up. Also, uh, this is good uh, birthday, Christmas, because you love me list for the woman. <laughs> All right, moving on. Uh, right here, I have a guy working on this for me. These just started stream streaming, but I need to own them. 
Now, you're never going to find the official licensed Freddy's Nightmares on Blu-ray. It just doesn't exist. But you have people that make them, but when they make them, you got to check out um, areas because regions will only play in certain region machines. That's been my hardest part about getting that collection. Moving on, these things are awesome. And super expensive. I think they're each $200. They are one-fourth, probably about that tall. One, two, and three from NECA. Eventually, down the road, I'll look at those, but I I wasn't paying their price and what they're worth right now. I just, I got nowhere to put them. This one is awesome. <laughs> This one is badass. I don't own anything with the Super Freddy on there. And this is really the only thing I could find. And the detail looks fantastic. So I will be picking that up soon. The next one is extremely hard to find. And if you could find one for under $600, good job. That's awesome. Now, Freddy has a snow globe. And I've seen a Michael Myers. And they're both ridiculously expensive. But that's awesome. They need to start making that again because I need one. Next up, the original Talking Freddy from Matchbox. Now, I have found these, but the boxes have been totaled and they still want like mint condition money. So it will continue on. This was also one that made it onto Pawn Stars. So, really. Eh, if I run into it, I'll run into it. Uh, that also goes with this one. This is one of the original action figures. You can change from <laughs> Freddy Krueger into burnt Freddy Krueger. So you make the change happen. This is another one that's hard to find, especially in the box. Pretty cool, though. Pretty cool. And next up is one, and that's our last one, but I kick myself every day. Those who don't know me, I worked in a toy store for about three years in a mall, and I had access to a lot of cool stuff with adult money. <laughs> My dad used to bitch, what are you going to do with a fucking toy? Well, guess what? Those are all ten times worth what I paid for them, so... Plus, I love them. I had a chance to buy this for $10. 10 Box had a little notch in it. And it sat in our store forever. And I never bought it. And now it's extremely expensive. Like, it was probably a little less conditioned than that box. But this was a sound-activated, high-detailed, 18-inch Freddy Krueger. I loved this thing. And I always waited for a new box to come in, and we just never got one. I think it was just sitting on the shelves forever. Um, those are some of the things I'm looking for. If you guys find any, feel free to help me out. I know South Jersey, Mrs. South Jersey Jason's looking for us, but we'll see. I like collecting, but I don't try to break the bank, so I like to finagle a little bit too. We'll see. Collection's growing. It's always been growing. It's been growing since I was a small child. But... That's all I got for you today from Short Splats. I'm Jared, and I'm out.